We came to working with the team in EOS through our former Formula One connections. Scott knew that we'd moved into the cycling development from Formula One and that we were doing a lot of wind tunnel testing and you know both athlete development as well as product development. We got a vast array of experience of working at the highest standard of performance engineering and we needed to lift our game and apply some different knowledge and expertise to help us go faster and, that, and that's why the relationship was formed. So working with Team INEOS was, was a huge attraction for us. What really differentiates INEOS from the rest is uh, the focus on the details and the focus on the technical development and in particular with the idea that we, we came together uh, with Team INEOS which was the, vir uh, the virtual pit wall system. So how can we simulate a race including all of the parameters, the rider parameters, the physical parameters including the bike and how can we simulate that all together to understand where we can improve performance. So alongside their obvious expertise, their technical know-how, their experience from F1 translating into our world, they could work with us really, really quickly and they would help prioritise what we needed to make a difference for our riders. Um, so without a doubt, the technical expertise is second to none, but I think that, that mentality and recognition of the high performance world we operate in was really important. The importance of aerodynamics is totally underrated. Actually, in terms of performance on the bike, it's the biggest resistance that any rider has to overcome. In terms of optimising speed and being the quickest across the line, or saving energy, um, your yeah, aero drag is king. We know when you're going 45, 50 kilometres per hour, the number one force that slows you down is air. So if we can reduce that, that aerodynamic resistance, we know with the same effort you'll go faster. So yeah, our priority has always been time trials because they're really crucial in three week stage races, but increasingly in stage races, we're seeing how important that is as well. So a lot of our knowledge is crossing to, to road stages and to, into other parts of a grand, a grand tour. I think it's one of the main things that's changed cycling over the last 10 years is aerodynamics. You see it every, every year, there's new inventions, um, new technology coming in to make guys go faster and um, this is I would say top of the list so to have this support um, and the knowledge behind us is uh, really going to help us moving forward. You know part of our relationship with Swiss side is also they've been developing some really amazing tools that go on bike so we can translate what goes on on a tunnel into the real world. In layman's terms the pressure measurement brake allows us to measure the pressure field behind the rider and when the rider and the bike punches through the air, they create a whole lot of losses, a whole lot of uh, lost energy in the air. And that's what actually we measure with this pressure field. But the reason why such a rake and measuring this pressure field is so important for aerodynamic development is because basically, you know, the, the, the rider is around about 80% of the aerodynamic drag. So measuring accurately and understanding what's happening on the rider is really key. And what we want to be able to do is to be able to take an aerodynamic number for a rider and for him to be able to see that on a day-to-day -day basis like he does a power meter. And that's one of the real USPs that Swiss side have. Their robustness and, and resilience are in sensors and how that relates to what goes on in a tunnel is something that's second to none. So I think our ability to learn from the tunnel but to take that onto the road will make it um, a lot more appealing for riders because they can do things every day in the training environment and learn a lot more about how to get the right setup when they're time trialing or when they're stage racing and those types of scenarios. So the, the wind tunnel is just one part of our toolkit. I think the advances in technology, and particularly what we're Swiss side are developing with their Swiss pod and with some of the rate technology that we'll see a bit later, will enable us to be able to do this on a day-to-day -day basis for a rider, a bit like power meters were 20, 30 years ago. The benefit for Team Ineos from these sorts of technologies is quite simple. You know, the, the combined aim of all of us is to make the riders and the team as fast as possible and as efficient as possible. And, you know, particularly in Pro Tour racing, it's, it's a game of speed, but it's also a game of efficiency. So with these type, this type of technologies, we can better understand where the aerodynamic drag is coming from, better optimise the riders and their equipment uh, to quite simply make them faster.